And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're taking a look at a game called Juicy Fruits. Uh, if you're like me, that will automatically make you think of gum, but this has nothing to do with gum. In fact, it has to do with fruits. You are getting fruits off of an island and using those fruits for two things. To fulfill orders from ships that are coming in to get them and to sell ice cream. <laughs> so this game is a game about sliding tiles around, trying to do so in the most efficient way possible to get fruit. A very simple, easy to jump into game. Here's how it plays. playing this game you're going to have some random tiles that are placed out here based on a number of players each person's going to have their own island and we're going to start by taking a look at the island you're going to have some random ships 12 random ships that are pulled from two different bags so that you have six that have lower cost fruits on them and six that have higher cost fruits on them and you're going to those are going to be randomly drawn from two different bags of tiles and you also have five different fruit tokens out here Players are going to take turns, and on your turn, the first thing you'll do is you'll move one of these collector tokens. So you can move it as far as you want, as long as nothing else blocks it, which, as you can see at the beginning of the game, means I can move it one space. So maybe my first move, I would move this here. I move the orange one space, so I get one orange. Maybe at my next turn, then, I can move this red one up here, and I'll take two of the pomegranates. And so the way that you move stuff will open things up. Once you're done moving, you then can, if possible, supply one of your ships. So look, let's say it was turn two. I now have one orange and one pomegranate. I will pay that to supply this ship here because that's the cost of it. That's going to score me one point. This is also removed from my board, which now means on my next turn, I can move this all the way over here and take three bananas. So as you supply your ships, you're going to be opening up more spots on the board to play things. And that's because up here, this is where you can buy a business token. These are, like I said, put out at the beginning of the game. When you buy these tokens, there are different types. There's costs on them. So you just pay the cost here, and you'll get that many victory points immediately. So this, these costs, anything in this row costs three oranges and three bananas, but gives you five victory points. And then depending on the tile, you're going to do something with that. Some of them are just going to go on your island, they're booths, but they give you victory points at the end of the game. So for example, this one here gives you four victory points for each one of your beaches that's completely clear at the end of the game. But it is gonna take up a spot on your island. Others of them are another new mobile token. So when I put that on my island and I move this, I can take oranges or pomegranates, and I get an extra one. So if I moved it from here to here, I could take two oranges. I move it from here to here, I would get three pomegranates if I wanted to. You can also take some that are just worth victory points. Like this one here is worth 18 victory points. But this is not the tile you put on the board. This shows you the tile, which would be near the board. It's this big tile, and you need to have that area free or you can't take it. And all this does is just block up your board but it is worth 18 victory points. And then there are ice cream stands. Whenever you take an ice cream stand, that's put on your island. You're gonna be moving these around just like your other mobile units. And when you move them, you're able to purchase ice cream. At the bottom of the board here are different ice creams, depending on what ice cream stand color you have. So the, let's say I just bought the green one there. For this one, for every space I move, I can buy one green ice cream. I pay one orange and one lime, and I can take an eight point token or a seven point token. Usually you take the higher one. Or I can always buy milkshakes. I just need two of the same fruit. Now, whenever you take the last pile from an ice cream, then we're going to move the business permit track down one. This will signal the end of the game. Also, whenever you buy a business token, from here, it moves down. And when this gets to the bottom, that's gonna signal the last round of the game. Players will be having gotten points from the game for supplying their ships and different business tokens. And then at the end of the game, you're simply going to look at the stands that you have, the stalls, and they're gonna give you victory points. And whoever has the most victory points is the winner. 
You can also play with the juice factors, an alternate side of the board, and at the, on your turn, you can pay fruits to move. You have two discs here. So for example, I could pay one of any fruit to move a disc here, which scores me a victory point. Then move it again, and I might just move this one straight to this spot. I'm trying maybe to move them as fast as I can to get the higher victory points, or you can move more slowly. If your discs are together, you can even pay one fruit to move both of them. And again, I might move here because the different discs will block your opponent. So you might split them up to get more points that way, or you might keep them together to move them faster. You can see you can get eight points all the way at the end of the track. You also notice there's bottles here with points. That's because one of the stalls will give you bonus points based on how far your discs have moved on the track. So you don't have to play with this, it's just an extra thing you can add, and it's a good way to get rid of extra fruit that you might not be using for uh, supplying your ships or buying business tokens. When it comes to components, I mean, this is the thing here. Look at these amazing, big, chunky fruits. Now, the game says you, you can't run out of these fruits. You know, if you run out, use something else. I never have, but I love how these look. The board itself, they also look really nice. I like moving the pieces around. I like how the ship tokens fit nicely on the board. There's an, another side of the ship tokens for solo gameplay. And I, I don't know. I just I found everything here to be bright, vibrant colors. You have a token, so you, everyone remembers what color you are. Greetings from Golden Island or greetings from Lagoon Island. That's just kind of nice. The components for this game, well, it's capstone. So you automatically know the components are going to be really well done. I'm very happy with everything. The symbology, you might occasionally have to look up what the stalls do for victory points, but that's it. The rest of it's very simple. I've been thinking about Juicy Fruits for a bit here in a sense of where does it exist in the realm of casual games to complex games? Now, obviously, Capstone thinks it's a, a family game because this is in their new category here of Capstone Games Family. Uh, they had a, a category before called Simply Complex. I don't know if this is replacing that category or not. This is a little easier to understand. But a family weight game. Obviously, this is not a complex Euro. But where I'm sitting on this is how strategic is the game, and it feels pretty strategic, but there are some things about the game that are a little lucky. Uh, one of those is the different business styles that come out. Sometimes a really good business style or a couple that work well together will show up in the top row, and if I just manage to get those before everybody else, well, ha, ha, ha. I, I can kind of pull ahead a little bit there. It also feels like getting ice cream I don't know if you need to get it to win, but I've yet to play or see a game played that the person who didn't really push ice cream or the person who won wasn't involved in ice cream in some fashion. And I, I'm, thematically, I think anyone who pushes ice cream should be a winner. Um, but I think that's an important thing to get one of those ice cream stands if you can, because the ice cream gives a lot of points. That being said, other than that, a lot of really good decisions. I do think it's interesting. Do you want to clear the ships off your island as fast as possible? Because the more ships you get off, the more you can move around and it kind of snowballs. You're like, I'm getting I'm getting ships off my island. Now I can move these tiles around and get more ships off. I got all my ships off. But meanwhile, maybe it's faster to grab some of those business tiles because if I wait too long, if I get all my ships off, now every time I move a tile for fruit, it's getting me four or five fruit. Yes, but now all the good business styles are gone. So you have to kind of weigh those two things against each other. But it is easy to play. I just sit there and go, I'll slide this and take one or two fruit. I'll slide this, take three fruit. And it's also really satisfying. When you make a long slide, you're like, I'm getting four of something. <laughs> That's enjoyable. And I think a lot of people will like that. The other side of the board with the, the, uh, the drinks, the, the juice side, that's, that's fine. I, I, I am happy to play with it or without it. Like I said, it gives you a way to get rid of extra fruit, but I don't know that it adds a ton to the game. It just adds another thing to do. If I was teaching people the game for the first time, I would not use it. Um, but it, uh, you know, having played it several times, again, I feel like I could play one way or the other. I think the game scales well. It works okay with two. And then it goes up higher, higher player counts on that. And I like that amount here. The side, uh, the side of the box says 20 to 50 minutes. I think 20 is a bit optimistic. It's more of a 
30 at fast is probably 45 minute length game but that's pretty good and then like i said fantastic components the chunkiness of grabbing the fruit feels really satisfying and it, it that's almost like the the key word for this game juicy fruits is satisfying satisfying to get the fruit satisfying to clear the ships off your island satisfying to buy some ice cream you know, just getting points and then beating everybody else out. Most of the games I've played have been fairly close in points, and you're watching the points kind of rebound over the course of the game. And the replayability is going to be different because the business tiles that come out. By the way, that concept of taking a tile, but it's actually a bigger tile to fit in your board. Neat idea. I would have liked to see maybe more of that. I almost wonder if the ice cream truck should have been two tiles long. But anyhow... Just all comes together in a really good package, Juicy Fruits, a bright, colorful, cheerful game that I'd be glad to recommend to people looking to play something simple, but offer some fun strategic choices. Dice Tower Judgment approved.